What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to easily back up your LaunchBox and Big Box settings. Now this backup is much different from kind of making a clone of your whole installation. And if you're interested in checking a video out like that, I'll leave a link in the description. Basically, that's a full backup. That's going to back up all of the games, images, and everything that you've already set up with LaunchBox, but it does take up a lot more space. What we're going to take a look at in this video is backing up our LaunchBox XML data files, and it's really easy to do. So uh, first things first, we're going to head up to Tools. We're going to go to Options, and you want to make sure that you have automatic backups on. So from our data section, we'll go to Backups and automatically backup LaunchBox XML data files. This is going to back up all of our setting files for LaunchBox and BigBox. This is just in case one of your XML files gets accidentally corrupted, or you made some change that you really don't know how to revert back to. With this enabled, every time you start up and shut down LaunchBox or BigBox, it's going to create a backup for us that we can easily restore from, and it's highly recommended to keep this on. So I'm going to choose OK. And now I'm going to show you how to easily restore from one of those backups from within LaunchBox. And this really comes in handy if you've made a change in LaunchBox or BigBox and you don't know how to revert back from it. We're going to go up to Tools, File Management, and from here we can create a new backup, which I'm going to do now so we can manually create a backup. And it's going to go in my LaunchBox backup folders. My build just happens to be on an external drive, but if you've installed this to your internal drive, the default location is C drive, users, username, launchbox, backups. We're going to go ahead and save this. And now we've got a backup. So if I accidentally select all of my games, press delete, choose yes, my games are gone right now. This was kind of a big mistake, but it's really easy to revert. We're going to go back to Tools, File Management, Restore Data Backup. I'm going to choose that Custom Backup. Open. As soon as I choose Yes, LaunchBox is going to automatically restart. And there we have it. We just did a restore using that Custom Backup, and everything's back in its correct location. But this method only really works if LaunchBox is starting up in the first place. What I'm going to do now is corrupt one of my XML files so I can't get LaunchBox to start up at all. And then I'm going to show you how to manually restore from one of those automatic backups. Okay, so I've actually had this happen to me in the past. When I try to start up LaunchBox, it gives me a warning telling me that one of my XML files might have been corrupted. This is easy enough to fix as long as you had those automatic backups on or you manually created a backup when everything was working. And in order to manually restore from one of those backups, we're going to head over to our LaunchBox installation directory, which is usually located on our C drive, Users, Username, LaunchBox. From here, we've got a Backups folder. And I'm going to go ahead and snap this over to the right-hand side. So we've got our automatic backups and our custom backups. For this one, I'm going to do my custom backup because I know it was working properly. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to extract it to its own folder. Inside of here, We've got all of our XML files, including our BigBoxSettings.xml. These are what need to be restored in order to get LaunchBox and BigBox up and running again. So what I'm going to do is go to my LaunchBox directory, snap this over to the right-hand side, and from our LaunchBox installation directory, we're going to find our data folder, and you'll notice that these are basically the same file, but as you saw, my LaunchBox build won't start up because I have a corrupted XML file in here. Easy to fix. From our backups, this was my custom backup. I'm just going to copy all of this and overwrite those files. We're just going to replace. Now, we'll just start it up and we'll be good to go. We just manually restored all of our settings for LaunchBox and BigBox. It's definitely easy enough to do and we highly recommend having those automatic backups on. From Tools, in file management, we can always create a manual backup, but from options, backups, make sure you have this enabled. Every time you start it up and shut it down, it's going to create an automatic backup for us. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're interested in backing up your full LaunchBox and BigBox build, I have created a video. Link for that is in the description. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always... 
Thanks for watching.